was really hoping to get into being a better artist. I have always felt that there, there could be some something. I'd done courses and I, you know, thought, mm, yes, I don't think I'm ever really going to be any good. I was painting fairly competently for an amateur. I was never entirely happy with the way things looked. It was never as I wanted it or as I knew I had the potential to be better at doing it, but I didn't have the tools in which to know how to correct what I knew was wrong. And I used to go to galleries regularly, wishing I could be that good. I never believed I could be. I did O-level art at school, was never really taught properly. And going to the academy has just opened up a whole new world for me. So when I um, arrived at the academy for my um, group on experience, I uh, spent most of the afternoon just laughing, but at the same time learning, which I believe really helped the lesson sink in and went far too quickly. And after being about an hour, I thought, that's it, I'm, I'm hooked. You look at the sky differently, you look at light, you look at shade, you look at angles, the, you know, which I didn't know anything about. I just thought that you had to know that sort of thing to be a good artist. You didn't realise you could be taught it. I'd never had any formal training and I'd never painted before in my life. I'd done a bit of drawing, but n nothing serious. There was a stage when I, I started coming and I thought, well, I'm never ever going to be able to master this. So I got to a stage where I was thinking, seriously thinking, should I jack it in or not? But I persevered, and the more you persevere, and the more you take on board what, what you're being taught, then the more you move forward. This place has changed my approach to art. For a start, I've slowed down a lot of my own art. I've now reached the stage where it's part of my life. It's a huge part of my life. I now have lots of friends who have very similar you know, interests and mindsets and we do on occasion meet for a beer or for a cup of coffee or even breakfast on occasion. We're all like-minded people. I can't praise this place enough, it's just done me wonders. I think for anybody who, who uh, is thinking about coming to the Academy and is unsure, just come and try. Everybody has started in the same place, nobody came to the Academy being Michelangelo. Every single person has gone through the same beginning where it seems a bit daft what you're doing but you appreciate very early on that everything's very relevant and you very quickly master it. Well for me I suppose one of the most important things I've learned is that uh, as Martin says it's okay to fail and that for me was a totally new concept in life because uh, we're all kind of conditioned to do in our the best the A grey stars and all that sort of thing but to actually be given permission to fail and to accept that that's a good thing because it means you're learning and developing was something quite new for me um, so I embraced that very wholeheartedly. I'm quite pleased with this piece in particular. The biggest change has been my appreciation for my own work. I've, as a result of it, sold work. It's becoming more than just a hobby. I don't believe it would have been if I hadn't had any training. It really is taking over. I would paint every single day and do all the commissions that I would ask if I actually had the time, but I don't. Just don't be reluctant at all. Go, and don't just go once. Go twice, go three times. Come away, think about what you've done. I'm thrilled with where I am at the moment and the people I've met and the fun I've got from it and I now have got my own little art group going. I'm, I'm proud of, of what Martin has, has got me to do. I'm at a stage now where I've never dreamt that I'd reach, but I've reached it and I'm developing all the time. So for anyone who has any doubt, I would say jump in with both feet and take the gamble because it's worth it.